Let's program and be creative. It's time for MIT App Inventor. Throughout Big Idea 1, Creative Development, we're going to create an amazing Animal Park app. Today we will begin by starting with animal sounds. So let's actually look at this app. So I'm going to go ahead and launch my emulator. Something you'll notice is this is in English, but it actually said it in Spanish. So actually, let's see how that worked. If I click on text-to-speech, I have the language in Spanish. I'm going to change it to English. So, today we're going to work with hearing animal sounds. So let's see what that looks like. Let's hear some amazing animal sounds. So again, I have it here in English, but if I change the language to Spanish, it will convert it for me. Let's go ahead and change it back to English. Touch the animal pictures below to hear their sounds. And you can see I have a bunch of animals here. I can touch any of these animals. or I can press all. So, let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is go to my projects. We're going to start a new project and we're gonna call it my animal park. And let's go ahead and pull up our emulator so the first thing, let's go ahead and just update our app. You can see I don't want it to say screen one. I actually want it to say Jamie Gant's Amazing Animal Zoo. So I'm gonna look at my properties on the right side for my screen. And you can see right here, screen one, I'm gonna change that to Jamie Gant's Amazing Animal Park. And I'm gonna press enter and there we go. Now I'm going to have a image, a label, and then for now, one button. And I wanna update my background picture. So I don't like this picture. I wanna put something different. So let's just go over to Google Images and let's do Animal Park. You can see there's a bunch of different images. Here's a good time to talk about copywriting. So if you're building apps, you need to make sure, I'm gonna to select Tools, Usage Right, and I can do Creative Commons, which means everyone, anyone can use these different ones. I could use these different themes back here as I want, or I might do Animal Forest, or example, Zoo Background. Use your creativity to choose what you want. I know what I would like to have, the Tree of Life. So I'm gonna do the Disney Tree of Life. I want that to be my background. So, you can see I have someone's taken this picture. I kind of like that. So I'm going to open up that image in a new picture. And I'm simply going to save that image. And I'm going to save it as Tree of Life Background. Back over here in MIT App Inventor, I want to update this background to be my Tree of Life Background. So you can see, I'm gonna look at my properties until I find it right here, background image. I'm gonna select that, upload, and I have my tree of life background. There we go. So that's gonna be my background image. Now again, I need, I wanna have a picture of myself, a user message, a user instructions, and then I wanna have my button. So we're going to go to image. I'm gonna drag an image in. This is going to be IMG selfie. I'm going to make this image clickable and I wanna upload a picture of myself. You may have a picture of yourself saved on your computer I do, but I also know if I do a search for myself, Jamie Gant, I'm probably going to show up and I'm gonna take Creative Commons license off and you can see there's a bunch of pictures. I will choose my baby picture. I'm gonna save this image, baby. And let's upload that there. 
So here are my properties under picture. I'm gonna select none, upload, choose file, and then I'm going to do Jamie Gant baby. Now obviously that is way too big for me. It looks fine over here, but I still wanna just make sure that. So I'm gonna select width, and again, you can do pixels or percent. Let's just make it an even 150 by height, 150. And then I'm gonna scale that to make sure it fits. And also what I want is I wanna put my image in the middle. So how do I do that? I wanna center my image. Well, I need to go back to my screen right here, and you can see we have a line horizontal, a line vertical, it's left, that's because I have it left by default. I'm gonna select that and do center. So there we have our image selfie. Next thing I wanna do is have a label that is going to be for the user. So I'm gonna to go to the left right here on label. I'm gonna drag this in. I'm gonna rename it LBL for label, user info. Let's make it whatever color you want. I'm gonna choose background color. I'm gonna make mine red. I'm also going to change the text. I don't want it to say text for label one. I want it to say, welcome to Jamie's amazing animal park app. And I don't like that black color, so I can change the text color right here. I'm gonna change that to yellow. Again, use your creativity, use the, young, the colors that you want. Um, I also wanna make that bold and <laughs> I want this to go all the way across the screen. So let's talk about something that we have not mentioned yet. So the width, it's automatic, which means be as big as you need to be. So my text is this long, so it's gonna be that big. We have something called fill parent. We've used pixels before and we have percent. So there's two ways to do this. We can do, let's see what fill parent does. If I do fill parent, you can see it goes all the way across the screen. Well, what does actually fill parent mean? If you look at our components window here, the parent of everything is the screen. So you're placing these components into the screen. So they're children of this. And I can close this window, which shows that this is a parent and these are the children. So back on label, when I select fill parent, that means go all the way across the parent. My parent is screen, so that means go all the way across the screen. I could have also done percent and did a hundred percent or just to show you let's say I did 50 percent you can see it shows up like that 100 percent is the same as fill parent so I'm going to leave it at fill parent now I also I want my text centered so I'm going to come down I'm on my label right now label user info and I can see text alignment I'm going to select this and select center there is one other thing we need to do on the visual side now we need to add a button so I'm going to drag in a button. I'm going to call this BTN Animal Sounds. And again, I'm going to update these properties. Use your creativity to create them however you want. But I know I want my button yellow. I know I want to type in the text here, Animal Sounds. I want to make my text bold. I might want to update the size to something like let's say 16. I'm going to change the shape of it. I want a rounded shape. I'm gonna change the color and make it blue. So there we go. Now let's look at what else can we do? Well, we can always have our app talk. We also can play some background music. So it's cool that nothing's happening right now, but I'd rather have some background music. So we're gonna need media. So on the left side in my palette, I'm gonna select media and I'm gonna drag in this, a player. And I'm gonna call it P-L-Y, background music. And now I need to download the background music. So let's go to our class page. So here I'm at our class page, my T app inventor, animal sounds. And you can see I have given you two websites for the media that you'll be needing to make our animal sounds. On the left you have my Google Drive where I have a bunch of animal sounds that you can choose from. But there's also a website called freeanimalsounds.org. Well, for my background music, I'm gonna to go to my drive. And you can see at the very top, I have a bunch of different backgrounds. I kinda of like this one, background sound jungle. So I'm gonna download that.
And now I want to upload that to my player. So back here, player background music. I'm going to click on source. I'm going to click on upload file. And then I'm going to go and I liked the background sounds jungle. There it is. I'm going to press loop and I'm going to lower it till about nothing's happening even though we have this player remember we have not coded it yet so we will do that shortly the other thing I want to do is I want to always have text to speech since it's fairly easy to use we always want to make our apps more interactive than just looking at something we are we want our apps to talk here's where I'm going to talk about you can actually change some of these properties you can see the default country you can see you have languages default, you have English, Spanish, France, Italian, and you can actually type something in English, change this to a different language, and it will speak in that language. And here you have pitch, how high do you want the voice to sound or low, and then how fast or slow they want to. We'll see this in a second. So now we are done with the design of our screen one, our home screen. We obviously need to make another screen called Animal Sounds that we're going to click. But we're done designing our home screen, screen one. In the next video, let's add functionality by coding it.